Hello guys, Mars Raymonds here. I saw in comments that there were some questions how to texture your landscapes in Gaia and how to export these textures into Unreal Engine and use them. So I'm just gonna quickly show you how we can do it. So let's start by creating a mountain for, for this example. Select eroded so we can get a bit more detail. Then we can add erosion. So I'm just gonna increase erosion to something big to get something like that. Then there's a new cool node called outcrops um, that we can add for the base. Because we can see here it's very very flatty and if for example you want to mix it with something i would this cool new node we can add this one uh which kind of like adds this rocky bottom so now we're gonna get into the coloring part so the way how i now in the new gaia how i color is so if we add add satellite map and we're gonna set the color to something like this I usually like to use this one because this one usually shows the best. So if we add this one, we can see that this layers, now we just apply the gradient. So from here to here, that's what it does. From the top, it's this color, at the bottom is this color, and it just adds the gradient to your landscape. So if we add uh, texture base, then it actually uses the grayscale map to apply the texture, and now, it looks individually where's the peaks and where's the bottoms and all the cool stuff so it looks more natural and to make it look even more natural since we have erosion we have a lot of erosion here usually would also be colors because of you know the rains how they would move down let's say the the sand and all that we can add erosion color erosion so i can add this in between and now we can see that where erosion is happening, there's again different colors. So we have different colors in peaks here and then also in erosion parts, which is very, very cool. Let's copy all this, get this and create another one. Let's just keep these two, I'm gonna bring this up to something like this. And you can always shift the color to something else. Uh, I don't know, this happens time to time in in the project. I don't know why. It's another bug in 2.0 now. But you can always switch to some other colors and look for something else. Something like maybe like this. And for example, like bottom, maybe I want something um, more, something like this. Okay, this looks pretty cool. So do something like this. So, and now to export this, we're gonna need to add Unreal node. Yeah, so we're gonna move one here. We're gonna set to 1K PNG and all that. So for us, we need to duplicate this, put it in and put it as a color. Don't worry if it goes like this, it's another bug, it's totally fine, your landscape is fine. And now again, we can just go build, uh, yes, open and start building. So now we're back in the Unreal Engine project. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use the plugin. I have set up video, if you haven't seen this, let's import a high map. Uh, I know that in the future we're gonna add actually that it creates auto materials, so it's gonna be even better, but currently this is what we need to do. So we're gonna create the landscape. And so we have our mountain in the scene. Then, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna import this mixer so basically the texture file, right click, create material. So open up the material. And I know that before a lot of people have this issue that they have these square thingies and all that. So what we need to do is, so if you click on your landscape, here resolution is 1K. So it's 1009, it's the same as we use here for export. So for a free version, that's the max resolution we can export. And here before this material, what we can do is we can add um, search for landscape layer chords, add it to UVs. If you click on this, there is call, there is um, mapping scale. We can set that 1K. And again, if you would export the 2K, 8K stuff, stuff like that, that's what you would enter. You would enter your 8K resolution, 4K. In our case, we have 1K resolution. So we save. It has now correctly scaled to our landscape uh, resolution. So this was just a quick tutorial how you can import the textures from the Gaia into Unreal Engine. 
If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye.